Congratulations again on graduating from Lehigh. This video is for all undergraduates in the classes of 2020 and 2021. If you have not already watched the first video for everyone, please stop this one and then go back and watch that first. There's important information about arrival and how to be prepared for your day at, at commencement. Remember to bring your printed grad pass with you, have your Hawkwatch app done and on your phone and with you as well. As soon as you get the, to the tents, you should be prepared to check in. When you walk to the stadium from the parking area, guests will go through one of the two check-in tents directly in front of the main entrance to the stadium. Graduates should immediately head over to the graduate area to check in. There are two small tents, one for anyone with regalia issues and the other for anyone with Hawk Watch or Grad Pass issues. Have your printed Grad Pass with you. If you don't need help at either of the small tents, move to the larger check-in tent where your Hawk Watch app will be checked. If warned, your temperature will be taken. If it's less than 100.0 Fahrenheit, you can stay. You will be given a color-coded wristband if you can participate. Put it on. You can't enter the stadium without it, and it must be on your wrist. After check-in, move to the road along the east side of the stadium, past the other tents, and up towards the parking lot near the stadium house. Use the restrooms, if needed, that are outside the stadium, and then show your wristband and enter on either side of the stadium house to move on to the field. As you move toward the seats, look for signs next to the chair, last chair in each row, indicating the row number and also the colleges. The seats are six feet apart, both front and back and left and right. The colleges are in this order from the stage. College of Arts and Sciences first, then the College of Business, then the Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and finally in interdisciplinary degree programs. For the class of 2021, there will be only the College of Arts and Sciences and the College of Business at the 10 a.m. ceremony, and only the Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences and the interdisciplinary degree programs at the 2 p.m. ceremony. Please use your grad pass card to confirm your college and follow the signs on the field to sit in the appropriate section. This is also the order that graduates will be called to the stage. Note your row number and how many seats from the middle aisle so you can get back to your seat after walking across the stage. It is really important to count your seat number from the center aisle. You may certainly sit with your friends, but you must sit with the college marked on your grad pass card and in the rows allotted for that college. There are not extra seats. There is no distinction for the east and west sides of the seating. You may sit on either side, provided you are seated in the rows for your college. If you are still outside the stadium when the processional is started, you will be escorted in after several minutes and seated by a faculty usher. Please don't be late. The start of the ceremony includes the processional of just the faculty and the presidential party. Students are not processing this year. Everyone should stand for the processional and remain standing for the national anthem. After the national anthem, there will be a few short speeches. The main part of the ceremony starts with the introduction of the College of Arts and Sciences Dean or the Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences Dean. The Dean will ask students to rise when their degree is called. Faculty ushers, in their distinctive gold caps, will ask the first two rows of the first college to immediately follow them to the outside of their seats. So from the top, they start and go to the outside, move down the field towards the 50-yard line, around the potted plant, up to where the square is indicated, that's where a picture will be taken with your mask on, and then over to the ramps up to the stage. On the bottom, the same path is followed, but mirror image. Move down the field along the seats, around the potted plant, up to the blue square where a picture is taken with your mask on, and then over to the ramp. The second row should just tack on to the back of the first. Remember your mask must be on all the time, and please maintain six foot distances between you and the person in front of you. This is difficult, and we know that. Please be vigilant and remind others to maintain distances. At the base of the ramp, a person will be there to help if needed, but it's pretty simple. When the person indicates it's okay, the first graduate places their grad pass QR code face up under the scanner. This is why you have your printed QR code for the grad pass. Move up the ramp to the thrust stage, and when your name is read over the loudspeaker, stand with your feet on either side of the T facing forward. That means facing all the graduates on the field. A picture will be taken at this time with your mask still on. Once the picture has been taken, you make your way back to your seat, 
by going down the center aisle, down the center aisle of seats to your row, look for small signs next to the seats, and then count over to your individual seat. When you get back to your seat, sit down. Please do not remain standing. All graduates are expected to remain on the field for the entire ceremony. The faculty ushers will release one row at a time. Please do not leave until the usher asks your row to start moving. The same procedure is repeated for the other colleges and, and the ID programs in the, in the seating order. College of Arts and Sciences, Business, Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and Interdisciplinary Degrees. Each college dean will be introduced. The exercises will close with the alma mater. Following the alma mater, the recessional will begin. The processional party will leave out the east side of the stadium to the north entrance. The faculty will follow them. Faculty ushers will then start with the first row on each side, and on the east side, they will follow the presidential party out the north entrance. On the west side, they will move to their own north entrance. Graduates must exit the stadium as part of the recessional and meet their families and guests outside the stadium. I recommend you set a specific place to meet that is not too close to the stadium or to the fences. Your vehicle may be the most appropriate spot. This is an example of your hood. On the point, there may be a string that can go inside your robe and attach to a button. On the back is the silk, and there may be a string that helps keep it on your shoulders. It is easiest to attach this string after it is on you, and in fact, someone else can do it. The bottom of the back is folded out to show the chevron. Yours will be brown and white. The rest of it just hangs there. The velvet trim indicates your degree and is what should be showing, as is here. Finally, remember the faculty ushers in their distinctive gold caps can always help you. Please follow their directions. I urge you to check the commencement website that morning for any other details, especially if the weather is poor, as the ceremonies may be changed in terms of time. Remember to maintain 100% masks at all times and six-foot distancing for anyone that is not in your own party. You should have with you your printed grad pass, your Hawkwatch app already filled out, and your phone with you. I hope everyone has a wonderful ceremony.